hello dear friends welcome to my channel today's discussion is group theory 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 questions which of the following statements is are true if g is a abelian g is a abelian that a to the power n b to the power n is equal to b to the power n for all n belongs to n a a b a inverse n a is equal to a b to the power n a inverse this is true or not okay that i have to discuss so so friends you have to you have to you have to remember that a b whole to the power n okay is b to the power n into a to the power n as it is abelian group so i can write it a to the power n b to the power n another another is a b a inverse whole to the power n a b a, a inverse whole to the power n n so let 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 n is equal to 1 for a let you a b a inverse so friends n equals to suppose n equals to 2 so it can be written a b another factor is n equals to 3 we can get a b square a inverse a b a inverse okay because it can be written this way n equals to 3 so we see a inverse so friends we can say that using the mathematical induction we can say that option a is correct okay n equals to 2 for n equals to 2 is true n equals to 3 it is true and now option b okay option b if g g is abelian then for n belongs to n a b a inverse whole to the power n equal to a b whole to the power n a inverse okay so friends we have already show that it is true okay so option b is correct next Next is G is a group for all A, B, A inverse is equal to A, B to hold to the power N, A inverse. Then G is abelian. So friends, let's take, for example, for example, G is equal to S3. So S3 is equal to G. So G element E, 1, 2, E whole square, okay. Is equal to is equal to is equal to one two one two whole square is equal to e okay and another way that if a a b square e in a b square a inverse so you can see that e 1 2 whole square into e because e in inverse of identity is identity. so it is e so i i see that s3 is not abelian group but it's old so option c is wrong and option d is also wrong so next question so let g be a group okay this is the first first important mark g be a group and eight of those elements elements of group g those elements of group g which commute with the square of a given element b of g okay so h be the set of those elements okay so square of the given element of suppose a belongs to so which commute means a 
b square is equal to b square into a okay so b square into a a b square is equal to b square a now x1 x1 x2 belongs to capital h so that implies x1 x2 inverse belongs to capital h okay x1 x2 inverse inverse capital H now the question why is that x1 because as it is x1 x2 inverse because H be the set okay H is a subgroup of G or not that I have to prove okay so H is the be the set of those elements okay so so friends x1 x2 inverse belongs to h that i have to i have to show mean means this is my proof then it is subgroup then that is, you know that subgroup property of subgroup okay you know so proper x1 x2 inverse so x1 b square is equal to b square x1 okay so x2 b square equals to b square x2 so x2 inverse x2 b square x2 inverse equals to x2 b square x2 x2 so what where i get i get b square x2 in is equal to x2 inverse b square that means that x2 inverse belongs to capital H friends you see that x2 inverse okay belongs to H so friends whatever you see x1 x2 inverse b square is equal to x1 x1 b square as it is abelian so it is abelian group so it is commutative so i can write so b square into x1 x2 inverse okay so b square x x1 x2 inverse that means x1 x2 inverse that it is subgroup so h is a subgroup property of the subgroup property of subgroup means a a inverse belongs to also h okay so this is the property of the subgroup that that, that, that then then h is subgroup of g okay so h is not a subgroup this portion is wrong let if n be a subset of this element of g which commute with b then n from subgroup of g so friends normalizer okay this means n be a subset of this this element g which commute with b so friends you have to you, you have understood that n is n is called normalizer okay because normalizer normalizer because all the element okay normalizer definitions n be a subset of this element of g which commute with b then n form a subgroup of g this is correct because normalizer is a subgroup i have already proved it okay n can never be a subgroup of g this is wrong because i have already proved that it is normal this is a subgroup okay so normalizer is a subgroup of g now next next questions friends next we discuss our next questions next is that let g be a group which of the following statements are true let h let a let g be a group which of the following statements are true 
let h and k be subgroups of of order 3 and 5 respectively then h intersection k equals to e and where e is the identity element of g where e is the identity element of g so you have to understand that gcd okay gcd of 3 and 5 equals to 1 okay so friends h intersection k equals to e this is correct this is correct now let g is an abelian group of order then phi x is equal to x square is an automorphism of g okay so let us discuss g is a, a abelian group okay g is an abelian group of order then phi x is equal to phi x square example z3 z3 tends to z3 phi such that z3 tends to z3 so f such that g tends to g dash okay it is clear then there is a theorem that f such that g tends to g dash then fx is equal to x to the power n so gcd of then it is automorphism then phi x in here we see that phi x is equal to x square so gcd of gcd of 2 comma 3 equals to 1 okay so it is automorphism isomorphism and automorphism so b is equal to this is the correct okay and if g has exactly one element of order 2 then this element belongs to the center of g okay this is also correct and option d is wrong none of this next friends next we will go to discuss question number 4 So question number four that the value of n for which which there exist one one homomorphism z12 to Sn. Okay, so if such that z12 to Sn, then we see that z12. Z1, Z12 divided by Z, 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 Z1 isomorphic to Z12. Okay. So that is subset of Sn. Now we see that which type of possibilities? Possibility is 4 plus when it is 7. Okay. In case of 7, then it is 4 plus 3. 3 then lcm cm of 4 plus 3 4 4 3 is equal to 12 okay this is possible another is 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1 then lcm means 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 so 9 is possible 11 is also possible okay so we see that's how because if you you can get 2 plus 3 3 plus 1 this is 6 this is not 12 another is 6 plus 0 this positive partition is not give 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 us 12 4 plus 2 this partition will not give us 12 so lcm we, we do not get it is 12 so option a is not possible otherwise everything is possible next let a7 denote the commutative group of all partitions of the symbols 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 so friends it is a7 has a element of order 10 
yes a7 has an element of our order 10 because 5 plus 2 so friends 5 plus 2 is equal to 10 lcm of lcm of 5 5 2 but i can write i can't write 15 i can't get order 15 because i do not get any lcm of or partition that is 15 in case of 7 okay so 5 cop 5 2 this is one partition 6 plus 6 1 this is one partition 2 a is possible but b is not possible c is possible because 3 lcm of 3 comma 4 is equal to 12 which of the following are true for group g zg is always abelian group for any non abelian group which of the following are true for a group zg is always an abelian group for any non abelian group okay so this is correct okay because you have to have to know you know that zg is always abelian for all case okay abelian group for any non abelian groups this is correct there exists a non abelian group g in which zg is non abelian this is wrong this is the center of group please check my center of group okay if you don't know uh, you can get into the theory you can get my uh, in you can get the get uh, normalizer and centralizer in my channel theory i have already discussed so it is correct and if every subgroup every subgroup is cyclic cyclic then group is also cyclic okay every cyclic if every sub subgroup of cyclic then group is cyclic this is correct but if every proper subgroup of group is cyclic then group is also cyclic this is wrong example q8 okay example q8 where i j k okay you you can get get all the proper subgroup of the of the uh, of q8 is cyclic but it is not cyclic q8 is not cyclic this is the example okay so you know i have already discussed this this theory okay next again we will go question number seven let g is equal to sn be a group of permutations on n symbols then which of the following can be true okay so there exists a subgroup h of a8 such that a8 such that h is equal to 2 when a, a must remember a8 such that h is equal to 2 this quotient group is 2 then it is normal normal group okay normal subgroup but you have to remember that what is remember that a up a5 a5 a6 up to a a a7 up to a8 what you see large number that this group are all simple group friends this alternative group are simple group question number a is not correct okay and there exists a subgroup h of s8 such that this is the subgroup of h of s8 okay s sorry s6 okay such that such that s6 such that h is equal to 48 okay so you can get order of order of h okay z15 there exists a subgroup okay okay so this is order of s6 divided by order of h is equal to 48 okay now lagrange's theorem i apply lagrange's theorem okay six factorial six factorial what is the six factorial six factorial divided by order of h 8 okay and you get the value of order of h equals to 
6 factorial divided by 48. So 6 factorial is equal to I can do 5 into 4 into 3. So it is 48. So it is cut and this is 2. So this is 15. Okay, I get 15. So we get friends Z15 is cyclic, but this group is cyclic group, but Z15 is equal to cyclic group. Okay, so as it is cyclic, but we you do not get any cyclic group from A6. Okay, so okay, this is not A8, A, this is A6. So it is not possible. There exists a subgroup. Okay. The number of conjugate classes in S n n n greater than equals to three. N greater than equals to three is always greater than three. So this is possible, friends. So it is correct. Option C is correct. And option D. For option D, we have to check that the smallest positive integer n such that S n n has an element greater than 2n is 9. So S9 n S is equal to 9. We get 5 plus 4. So it is 20. So this is possible, friends. So I hope that i can clear this total I, I i i can clear the total cost concept and our total work you will check and this video is helpful for for all learner okay thanks for watching friends and i hope i can clear the total concept